I have CR Wood. Can't remember Wood, right? That's right. <laughs> That's what he told me. Um, thanks for stopping. I appreciate um, you stopping on this cold day. I know you don't have a jacket. It's freezing out today, isn't it? Life's tough. It is tough, but you know the tough what? Well, <laughs> we endure. We endure. That's there right. you go. Especially when we get older. There's yeah, no doubt. That's right. Um, we have a we have a show called Have You Experienced Jesus? And so the question for the week that we have is is who is Jesus to you personally, CR? And also the other question is what was the purpose of Jesus being born? Jesus Christ is the literal Son of God. What does that mean? Uh, both literal? in the spirit and in the flesh. He is my older brother. He is the atoner. He's the great teacher. And he's the individual that makes it possible for me to return and live with a heavenly father who loves me. Okay, so that's a pretty much, that's the way it is. He's your brother. He is um, the person who, who literally came down, I guess, from heaven. But how about saving? So you believe that he's your personal savior, right? That's what the word atonement means. Okay. He brings my sinful state to compliance with the rules of heaven, which I can't do for myself. Yeah. He, he makes those two conditions one. On one hand, we're commanded to be like him. Uh, no one can. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah. All have sinned and come short of the, the glory, glory of God. God. You bet. Uh, but on the other hand, we've command, been commanded to be like him. And I view my relationship with Jesus Christ as being a team of oxen or a team of horses yoked together. Uh, the one thing about it, most teams that you find is that one pulls a little harder than the yeah. other because one has the capability of shouldering more. Where I fall short, I know the Savior will make up the difference. So is that sort of the same with grace, in your opinion, that if you need to do all the things that you need to do and then at the point of the time that he needs you to come, and, you and he, you're leading, he, you're leading me, and I understand it because. Yeah. Well, it sounds that's a, what you're saying. Is am I wrong in that understanding? No, uh, it, he was baptized not because he had to be baptized. Yeah, yeah, he was without sin. But simply to follow the directive given him by his father. We are baptized for the remission of sins. He was sinless. He had no need of that, but he set an example. For and he also us. fulfilled the law by doing that too. Correct. Well. Yeah. It was the law. Yeah, that, during that period of time. All right. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate you. Have fun.